congratulations, you know. Uh, Thank you best, very much. Best, best actor, you haven't been in the series that long. So. No, I'm chuffed. Yeah. I'm so chuffed. Surprised, yeah. really surprised. Yeah. Um, and to be shortlisted, I think, for all of us in Hollywood, it's done so well. 20, I think 20 nominations, it's been amazing. And for a show that doesn't, you know, we're not, we don't have the ratings that the other soaps have. So I think that's hats off to, to um, our producer, Brian Kirkwood, for you know, turning the show around and everything the show's doing at the moment and how well it's doing. Um, and also to our audience, because I think there is something in the fact that we have, you know, a younger demographic, although I think that's changing and widening actually, um, that they, you know, they're so enthusiastic and so keen and they're, they're savvy on their social media and they, they get to town and have been working hard on voting. So it's been amazing. I have to say that it was a surprise, a, a really lovely surprise. Mm. It's a joy to play Patrick. I know that sounds a bit weird, but um, but I think for an actor, you've heard it a million times, I'm sure, is, is that actors, I don't know quite why, but they love to play baddies. And this is a complex, dark, deep, twisted man. And, uh, and for some reason, it's sort of fascinating to play. And I think, you know, I think part of being that is being it's psychology in a sense. And, and funny enough, having never done a soap, I've done Coronet, 10 episodes of Coronet Street before, but never done long running soap and played a character for so long. Um, you know, for film and TV series before, or theatre or something. You don't, and it didn't even occur to me before doing this show, that spending this long in one man's skin, it means you, allows you to, to get down into the depth of detail. Mm -hmm of this person's psychology and it's um it's fascinating it's hard work mm. but it's fascinating right uh it's also interesting because he's so complex you know that's what i think yeah. you know it's a gift of a part to be honest yeah do you do you get do you find yourself playing a character so for so long and so regularly do you, <laughs> do you, do you, do you, do you method no i no, no I, i'm not really, it, it, you can't I don't know, I'm not, I didn't train as an actor or anything, so I don't really know my methods or non-methods and things, but um, he does take a lot of work, he's a long way away from me, so it's a, you know, very much playing sort of against type sort of thing, and uh, although I have played some nasty characters in the past, but um, it does take a lot of work, but I, it's enjoyable work, but it is, you know, to understand and to try and make it as realistic as possible, and believable as possible, it does take a lot of work. Ed, yeah. there's it's obviously been a really positive, well, there's been a big response to your story. Yes, yeah, yeah. positive, I don't know, big yeah. response. Yeah. There's been a really big response, and obviously linking with the Home Office and doing the adverts for domestic abuse, um, you know, this is abuse campaign has been, well, it was amazing. When that first was brought up to me, I was um, shocked because, of this, I mean, again, I haven't done a soap before, and I think maybe I just wasn't aware of the power it has. I, I remember tweeting things, you know, when, when you know, hear extraordinary stories from people and people who've who've not just been moved by the story, but have been affected by the story in a very real way. You know, it's actually really changed their lives. They've phoned the police. They've realised they were in a, a, a relationship that was abusive and done something about it. Do you ever think about the the households that's, that it's been screening in and the, the awkwardness that must go down? Well, absolutely, and I, I've, I don't know if uh, Nikki said, but um, we had uh, one. We had so many extraordinary reactions from the Home Office themselves through their own surveys, and, and look at the reaction from the adverts commercials. I look at you know at Twitter and those things, and um, but we had one of the other actors in Billington came in one day a few months ago and said, um, "Oh, did you come in? And saw me in the green room?" I said, "Jeremy, did you see?" Um, you see your storyline was on Newsnight last night. And I was like, of all places, you don't really expect Hollyoaks to be on Newsnight. Newsnight. And um, I was like, no, what was that? And they were doing a piece on the perpetrators of abuse. So there's these perpetrators programs, which they were looking into doing a piece on Newsnight. And they had both a perpetrator of abuse and his partner, uh, his wife. And they were, and it was a very serious piece and they were, interviewing both of them, her in silhouette, so you can't identify them, but they're real voices. And she's telling her story, and she was saying, um, and I have to say, well, I'll tell you what it was first. She was saying, um, 
that she was sat at home with her kids and they liked to watch Hollyoaks after school together, the family, just her and her kids watching the show, and that she was watching our storyline. And as she watched it develop, she dawned on her, she realised that she was in an abusive relationship. She hadn't really become conscious of it until that point. And she went upstairs and phoned the police and that was the beginning of them sorting the whole relationship out. Right. Her right. partner going to therapy and her getting help. And I have to say, watching it, it really was moving. I mean, literally to the point, oh my God, we really do something very real and very powerful. 